back with another video. Back, yeah, back with a video, but but first time on a mukbang. That's right. So we told y'all we were gonna do a mukbang, and today is the day. And y'all, y'all, yeah. forgive me, my eyes roll up. We reposition the camera so that I'm trying to make sure I stay here, not there. Um, so yeah, we said we're gonna do a mukbang. I guess y'all want to know a little bit more about us, which is wonderful because we love to tell you. Ain't that right? Mm-hmm. And it got on my nerves for the day already, y'all. And it ain't even one o'clock. Your mama got on your nerves. Whatever, um, no. You nigga. But look, so check this out. <laughs> we got, we doing a mukbang here. We got Chipotle because we don't really eat a lot of crappy stuff. No, guys. Um, so what I got here. Go ahead and tell them because I'm about to go ahead and start eating. Y'all. So it's hungry. I got a bowl. You see that we got chips kind of spread out. Chips, perfect right now. Got a little bowl right there. I got it on manual focus, so it might not show you. So y'all got, I got to do it like this. Um, What's in your bowl? I got, I got chicken. I have lettuce, rice, um, beans, and some other guacamole and stuff like that. Plus, I got got a burrito with beans. No, it's got everything I got in it, but no meat in that one. What you got over there? All right, y'all. Camera's uh, here. We got that snap. So I have. Only thing about the tacos is that when you put the cover on them, they kind of sweat so they get soft. So I got tacos with, you probably can't really see, but it's, it's vegan meat in there, the soy meat, love it. With uh, jasmine, the, the white rice, pinto beans, cheese, lettuce, tomato. Now for the bowl, I have, uh, let me turn it this way so you can see the uh, tofu in there. I got, what you got? Um, the white rice, I got black beans this time with the mixed vegetables and um, lettuce, tomato, cheese, corn, and the, the diced tomatoes. And we got sauces, we got guac. Oh, look down, look down, look down, we got guac. Medium salsa, oh, I got hot salsa on those tacos too, y'all. I love hot stuff. Mm. We got medium salsa and then this is for the tacos, to top the tacos with the tomatoes. Mm, mm, mm. You, what you drinking on? Oh, and we got this. Snapple. All right, y'all. So we got a little Snapple. Man, I have Snapple in so long. You know, when you brought it home yesterday, I'm like, that was the drink when you were in high school. Well, I don't know about when you were in high school, but like when I was in high school, Snapple was like, to get Snapple was like the best. Yeah. It's like having Snapple and a Vita Pup. Oh, you in the game. Oh, <laughs> Vita Pup. Yeah, you don't know that? Uh -uh. So, I'm going to take a first bite, and then we're going to answer, answer some questions because your boy is hungry. You know what I mean? You feel me? Get a oh. Oh. This dog meat is delicious. Dog meat? <laughs> <laughs> I know you eat dog. No, that's what, um, when you start doing a that. long time ago, maybe about four or five years ago, people were like, oh, it's dog meat in the Chipotle. <laughs> um, I ain't never heard that. <laughs> anyway, what's up? So, I'm gonna answer these questions. We got um, y'all for dropping some questions for, for us. For sure. Spec, you know who the OG question dropper? Who, who consistent? There's voices behind the wall. Voices behind the wall, shouting you out, girl. And I have not forgotten to respond. I'm definitely gonna do that. I'm a little behind catching up on emails, but I got you. For sure, I would love it. And she has been a supporter from day one. She always comments on my music videos. I love it. She dropped her email address so you can email her. Okay. Mm. So, what you got? First question. Mm -hmm. How did we meet? How that's a, did we meet? So you know what? That's a, that's a good story. We met at So my my best friend, I mean, my really good friend, was her cousin. Never, you know, I didn't have a clue. I'm telling how we met, not how we pre-met before we met. Right. <laughs> That's a whole nother. Um, That's a whole nother story. Whole nother star uh, blog, y'all. But how we truly formally met and noticed the existence of each other. So my cut, my, my homeboy was having a party, her cousin. And normally he had these get together. I've been to one or two of them. And um, he had it at his house. So I went out there. I came from where I was living in um, 
Clayton County to where he lived in another part of Clayton County. It might have been Fairman. Mm -hmm. And that was dark time going down the street. So it was this actually, actually you saw, you were in your truck and we had probably met really at the light, but mm -hmm. I didn't think nothing of it. Right. So. And two we, separate cars too, yeah. Two separate cars. We were at the light. And my home, or his, his neighborhood used to be pitch black. Dark. You know how you got them neighborhoods? That's right. They had, they had no poles at night. You just, it's black one in there. It was. So I'm driving. So we pull off at the light. Mind you, there was no car turning into his neighborhood prior. Cars weren't turning into the neighborhood before we got up there. So you guys first I think how suspicious it's kind of already feeling. Mm -hmm. And I think you took off first and you were in front of me and you turned into the neighborhood. I was right behind you. So I automatically start thinking, like, man, it's kind of dark. Ain't nobody's pulling him, but maybe I ain't. Okay, let me stop overthinking it. He was turning every way I was going. He was turning, y'all. Because we made a couple of turns even before we got in Juwan's neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So we are making... After she she pulled into the neighborhood, I'm right behind her. She bend the right. I'm like, I'm bending right too. I ain't really thinking down there right at right that moment. She bend the left, I bend the left. That's when you think about it. It ain't the first turn, it's the second. You like, oh bro. She I'm like, she probably going, she might I, she going where I'm going, she think I'm following her. Mm-hmm. She make a level left, I make a left. But here's one like this, mm -hmm. that, this, that. that. Mm -hmm. Man, it got to the point, man. I was like, man, I bet the girl think I'm, or whoever in this car think I'm following them. Because by the time she hit that left, man, that thing, that thing, like, it was about to tip over. It was one of them Jeep rims. I bags. was, y'all. I was like, it was is Jeep. he following? Who, who is, is they following me? Oh, you were thinking about it? Mm-hmm. Well, you never told me you were. I was. At first, I didn't know, zoom in. But then when you started turning, you made, a, like, another turn. Two turns coming into that neighborhood. I was like, okay. What do I need to do? What you mean, what you need to do? Thinking. Well, if somebody following, your ass don't stop. You just keep driving at that point. If mm -hmm. you think my phone, because yeah. I would let you look crazy and drive to the wilderness, and I would have parked up, pulled up at his house like I was normally well. Tell the story, child. That's the story. That's, I'm getting to it. You giving all the extra. I'm going to put my finger in your food. You better not. <laughs> I go through every day. So, after we turn into the subdivision, right? After we made these left, right, left, right, I'm still behind her. She hitting corners fast, but I'm still behind her because I know the way to his house. I told myself, I said, as soon as I get to where his house is, I'm gonna snatch the emergency brake, hop out and hurry up and walk in front of the car to let her know I was already here, not falling behind you. I'm in front of you, not behind you. Okay. So she, she stopped. Before, because I know now I know my wife. What? You in there fixing yourself up in the car. Even though you were, you probably, in this situation, I know when you pull up to a, pull up somewhere, you at that point, you like this. This ain't, you all in the, uh, uh, uh. So I had enough time to hurry and get up there. And then I thought about it, I waited. It was a second before you walked up on it. I had already run, knocking on the door. Yeah. And he hadn't gotten there yet. That gave him enough time for you to walk up beside me. Mm hmm And um, I said, we walked up pine. We didn't say anything about following each other. I was just like, hey, just tell them we um tell them we came together. No, we did. We said something about that before we said that. I don't remember what we said. Do you remember? And then we just said tell them we came together right after that. It wasn't when we walked to the door and tell them we came together. We were like, I was just, you know, I wasn't following. I said it was something to that okay, regard. Maybe that's what we're talking about. I don't know. It was something to that regard. Okay. I and don't I, remember that part. And at that part I told him, I said, man, tell them we came together. He, okay. op he opened the door. I said, man, we came here. He said, he said, he said, nigga, that's my cousin. <laughs> so by him saying that, he already knew that we hadn't come together. And we went in the house. And I, I initially was going to holler at somebody else at that party. He didn't tell me that, y'all. He, I just found this out recently. I was trying to see what kind of booty I was going to get that night. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't for me. I tried. I tried. And low key, you didn't try for real, for real, because you knew. Mm -hmm. I, didn't, I didn't even look like a chick to approach that way after real. 
Let me tell you, she right too, because I know y'all through the camera lens be seeing that. Be like, ooh, she tough. Um, but no, she went, and actually, man, I get it from my mama. Let me tell you, we met, right? But I wasn't really pressing her, think about it too much. You really wasn't. Yeah. I was trying to think, I was looking, I was trying to see if I was going to holler at the other girl. But what happened was, what happened was we had, um, you didn't tell me all that, my boy. We have, remember, we traveled a little bit and then we'll split up. Everybody chat with other people. Oh! What? I learned something new. I'm talking about in the beginning. I am too. I didn't know you had some other little chick you was going to see at the. You home. remember Juwan's, um, that old girl that was there? I don't know. Okay. Just because she was there, don't mean I know you was going over there to talk to her. But y'all, there was an actual, there was another guy that I was breaking out from the talk to. So, okay. It was. Sense. It was. And so what happened was, it was, it was funny. We would chat. Break. <laughs> we would have a little chat. But another dude, uh, he, was, he was thirsty. Man, I'm talking about, like, can I have some snapper, please? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. He was thirsty, boy. Okay. So, we would split off. I go downstairs, chat with him. That dude was thirsty. You talking about, he was just going out in detail. Cause he will see me and you chat. Yeah, me and you have a cordial conversation. And then he, I think he'll come around, pop up and try to say something. And then get to a point to where me and him will go down and talk downstairs with everybody else. He would say, he would say what he would say. But I told him, I was like, man, dude, you can calm down, man. You, I said, you kind of get off a little bit of that thirst. Look what I told him. In the garage. Mm, mm, mm. I said, you kind of thirsty. I was like, man, you just have to chill, bro. I mean, Cause it wasn't like I was coming out gonna lose anything because I didn't come, I didn't even know her. You know what I'm saying? At that right. time, mm -mm. so yeah. it wasn't like a mindset of let me hate on him. Right. Because it wasn't even like that. Mm -mm. So it just, the night kept going like that. Come on, taco. It broke. And I kept going back and um, chatting with you. Mm hmm. At that point, what? after um, Jawan Hunger kept seeing me chatting with you. She just went on, Pat, moved on out. She, it wasn't even, it was like, she went on by her way. It just, she dissipated. Really? Mm. And, uh, I didn't know that. But we had a good conversation. Dude still was thirsty. Okay. But you didn't give him the time of day. I went out there a couple of times to talk to him. I was like, How'd that conversation go? I don't even really remember much of it, but. Him is kind of like typical of what I would usually talk to. Mm -hmm. A little flashy. Um, nice car. Oh, give me this burrito. Change, that kind of stuff. But, I was just, I don't know. I wasn't feeling that connection. I think I was kind of already liking him a little bit. Well, if you look. He's like, okay. Good and brown is me, man. You'll like me too. He's kind of cute, and he makes me laugh. See, that was one of the big things for me. Kinda. He's making me laugh. Like, every time we talk, that's so nasty. Every time we talk in the house, he's making me laugh. So. So like I said, I didn't have nothing to lose. So it was just like, I wasn't trying to win. I was just, I was just me and me. And I was just going there to hang out with the young folk, as I told myself. I'm gonna go hang out with my cousin, see what his friends doing. I'm just gonna go, I had just done a show at a spot in Atlanta. or hanging out with another female rapper. And then I said, okay, let me just go. So I didn't really have, it was no real expectation. When I went, I was just going to have some fun, have some drinks, have some fun, eat. And then, because you want to love drink, boy. Mm hmm. Eat, go home, and, and look, I'm good. And then it got to a point where I remember I remember that night the dude was like, Man, I think she kind of feeling you. He had given up. He was, <laughs> he see one going nowhere. Right. And when you see that, I mean, are you just trying to get another girl booty at the party? Not. At the party, like, but still, you knew what? You didn't tell me that story. I told that story in years. Last week, 
Or uh, whatever we talked with, uh, was it Quest or? It might have been. Slips and Levy. No, so, um, yeah, no, 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 that's what happened. And it end up, I hit up, and this is what I hit up for, what, what I got. I hit up, I'm like, what's up? <laughs> it was like 3 a.m., what's up? She was like, what's up? I said, oh, yeah, you in. <laughs> Uh, that's what I thought in my head. Oh, man. I didn't know he thought that, y'all. Boy, it was but like, that, come, that conversation so did not quick. come like that. <laughs> I'm like, I know this Negro ain't. Hit me up already at 3 in the morning talking about, I was like, what's up? I was I'm like, like what's up? I was like, what's up with that? Did that throw you What's up? Did that make you want to end, end it? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Cause I already knew, I already knew what I was gonna do. It didn't matter what you thought. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? So that's how, that's what I meant. Now I was, um, and I was actually going to the next question and said, "How long have y'all known each other and been together?" So that was when we first met. That was February or March, two thousand nine. Mhm. Wow. Two thousand nine. So we, um, and we started dating. When did we? We officially had started dating. Probably the next month. It was April. It must have been the next month. Okay. It was shortly after. Yeah. Real short after. Mm-hmm. So we met. That was 2009, maybe March, and we started talking. Probably really start talking, talking April, and then you moved in with me. And she moved in with me because it was it was it was more beneficial. She didn't pay no rent. Boy, stop. <laughs> Don't ever believe that. Because I'm a grinder. <laughs> I'm a grinder. But look. What? So so we we dated for a year and a half. We got married in 2011. We've been married since 2011 to now. So together, total, we've been together. Um, it's going on 11 years. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's going on 12 years next year. Next year is 12 years ago. 09 to 2021. Add that up. Matriculate that right quick. Calculate that. 09 to 2019 is 20. 10 years. And then 29, 20, 20. 20. Next year is 2021, right? And 11. So 2021 and 12. Mm-hmm. 12. So it'll be going, going on 12 years. So we've been dated for two. Married for um, next year will be our ten our ten year um, mm-hmm. marriage anniversary. We'd have been married for ten years next year. Wow. Um. Ooh. Next question was I, I these are um, these came from Voice Find All and then I have some other ones down okay. there too. Okay. It said, um, "What made y'all want to start a um, a YouTube journey?" Well, that's a good question. I'm the one to kind of initiate that. And yeah. actually, people don't know that. And I take this. I wish I would have done it differently. But our YouTube channel kicked off October 2017. But I, at that time, so if you go look at back our old stuff, you'll see a really old video, a couple really old videos, and that was 2017. Mm-hmm. 2017 we started. Way at the bottom, y'all. Way One at of the, the first ones was us reacting to, baby, your pinto beans falling over here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. reacting to Stranger Things. But you know what? I was telling them, it wasn't a lot of reactors then. It wasn't a, that wasn't no big thing then. Mm-hmm. But the problem was, I didn't really see the money from it. People had just started getting monetized, but I didn't really understand. I didn't have no clue how you're supposed even to monetize. Minus, even minus all the money, we didn't have a vision. Mm-mm. We didn't have a vision for our channel. I believe if we were- People will pay at Paris because of lack of vision. And that's real. I believe if we would have had our startup, no, but on that road. I'm just saying, I'm thinking, if we would have went hard on our channel in 2017, we'd probably be so many million subs right now. Well, because you had to talk the algorithm for what you do, because everybody wants to see you doing that. You don't like that. <laughs> so we started in 2017. And how it started, let me tell you what really started, right? So we moved to LA in 2016. Um, from We're from Atlanta, Georgia, as you know. Don't let the Yankee hat fool you. Moved from Atlanta, Georgia, 2016. And I worked at UCLA. And so if you live in LA and you live in downtown LA area, driving mm-hmm. to the to the school 
sometimes in the most beneficial. So I would take the park my car, take the bus. And on the bus ride, you go through Beverly Hills. And do you don't know how to, let me tell you what made me, what got me want to start. And this lit a fire, but it took me about a month after I came to that record, that, that realization. Man, I used to drive out of McLaren store. All the doors be up at the McLaren store, Joy. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I'm like, man, what do I have to do? I want one of those. Look, mm-hmm. I'm like, what do I have to do to get something like that? And I'm sitting next to a, a dude with his whole ass out in the seat. I was at that time. Yuck. He had, I mean, you know how somebody pants me down here, but they ain't got no drawers yeah. on? So it's almost like the balls hit the hit the couch, hit the, hit the claw. TMI, babe. TMI. <laughs> TMI. So that's what happened, man. I um, I was seeing that, and I said, how do I get to that? And after you do that a couple of times back and forth, you start realizing, really, what do I need to get my life of that? Because living like that ain't what I'm currently seeing life like right now. Okay. And so I started look, researching, find, looking at stuff on YouTube. I wouldn't even think of reaction. I didn't even know what that was. And then I think, who was the first chap I saw? I want you to start landing your plane. That's soft taco. I talk, not taco like how football helmets used to be in, in the 30s. <laughs> <laughs> but no, no. So that's what made me do it. Seeing that how people live on life that you don't live. And them cars, them cars ain't just sitting there for nothing. Them cars, man, after so many times, them cars weren't even there. They had different cars. So what that tell you? People buying. People but doing also, something different. I want to say before that, you've enjoyed acting. I've always enjoyed. I think the camera is what drew him to wanting to record himself. Y'all. It was kind of like, oh wow, I can turn the camera on. Thanks for acting. Oh man, thanks for acting on and back home in Atlanta. Slow down, boo. Slow down. No. Slow down. I used to act in Atlanta. Atlanta. But I thought, because you know, life come in. People tell you you're supposed to go work, and make money, which is. And with you, what I learned working a job is probably the least, what is the, has to be the worst way. For you. For me. For you. For me. Yeah. I'm going to say that because people like, some people like their job. Uh, no, no, no. Job. For me. Yeah. For me, it's the worst way it seemed to make money. Mm-hmm. It's like minimal amount of money you make. Okay. So that's what sparked it in my mind. Start our account. Did it, fell off. Moved outside of LA. Moved about an hour out. And then we started back up maybe about after we had moved, probably about eight months in, we started the channel because we actually started a podcast first on um, Spotify. No, no, on Anchor. I still got that thing too. It's still money sitting in that little account. And it's um, little. Little account. Little, it was like, it was like $2. Your language. <laughs> your language. The language. It was still some bread sitting over there. Mm-hmm. So... That's what got it, man. Seeing other, I, I like the camera, plus seeing how other people are living that I want to live and still currently want to live and going to live. That's what sparked it. Um, And my wife, she was like, hey, you know, my school ain't hurt nothing. Might well do something else. And I wasn't really. Because it was my drive that made you want to do it. Yeah, my I wasn't really into YouTube like that when we first got here. I just wasn't. We didn't even know what that was. I knew what it was. I wasn't into it. So, so what you going here for? You going for makeup tutorials? What's the only thing you should look at YouTube? It probably was ET. Cause you want no YouTube looker. Um. TD Jakes. TD Jakes. Mhm. Mhm. Man, I wish I knew how people were making money back then. But um. So the next question I think is by Edward Edwardis. Okay. What is one of the pet peeves you have about each other? <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. Well, we both have a very high energy at each other about certain things that we're very strong about. So pet peeves. They ain't mm-hmm. asked for all that. I'm getting Pet there. Pee. Pet peeve. Man, if you eat your football helmet taco, <laughs> so I hate no people. Pet peeve. Pet peeve. One thing I can say, I'm pet peeve of, um, Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, I'm going to jump first. And yeah. We, we burn a lot of incense. Not for spiritual reasons, just because we love the smell. We love the smell of incense. And my wife, 
But the infant, you're, 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 hey, we both are guilty of this, bro. Uh -uh. bro. Yes, no. yes, no. yes. I don't agree. Pick another one. Pick another one. Pick another one. No, the infant joint is mine. Okay. That's mine. Go ahead. Go ahead. So my, this before, like for the longest, my wife will burn the incense. She sit on the little stick. You supposed to fold it down so that all the incense get it get down. She lived the custom of let the incense go free. Incense be everywhere. It looked look like LeBron that came in with the dust for both basketball. Everywhere. Y'all. Brown okay. dust. Don't believe that. Give me some of your chips. It's partly true. Give me some of your chips. So. I wasn't gonna say this one, but he always eats my food, y'all. He eat up his and then mine. Okay. All right. So. <laughs> so for me, okay. Whenever he takes something off, he leaves it, and stuff just be everywhere. Shirt over here. He has started something. The cup is over here. Uh, what, what we doing with this? What we doing with this? So he just, when he, his stuff is strolled throughout the house. First thing is, Niga Diva. <laughs> Niga, what's that? Ni, look at that one. Niga Diva. Niga Diva. N-G-A D-V-E. Inga Dive, maybe? Inga Dive. Or Diva, Divi, I don't know, Divi. What is your guy's dream vacation spot? Hmm. Man, we don't go so many places. Oh, no, 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 no. Hmm. Bora Bora. Oh, yeah. Bora Bora. Bora Bora. Hmm. I want to stay in one of them little tents over the water. That would be really modern nice. Modern huts where mm -hmm. we can see the, the fish on our, under our feet. You step, outside your, you step outside your room, dive into the water. Mm -hmm. And just live life to the fullest. That's a nice, what, 12 grand trip? I don't know, but yeah, I would definitely say, boy, boy. Mm -hmm. Just looking at those pictures, it's like, man, when can I go there? Mm hmm. Boy, boy has always been our dream. We've been looking at, like, for forever wanting to go there. Yep. We've been a lot, of, we've been in several tropical spots, but boy, boy is mm -hmm. like that all time spot. You feel me? Yep. It's like that all time spot. It is. All right. You got anything else you want to add? That's it for the question. Oh, yeah. Well, those were great questions, guys. <clears throat> really enjoyed those. Looking for more. No, that's pretty good. I mean, that was great. <clears throat> that was it. <clears throat> for sure. So that's a little bit about us, man. I'm hungry. Oh, and also, man, we were telling, man, we're trying to, we're going to, want, you want to start spinning up our um, family channel again. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Because we took away from the family channel to focus on the reaction channel. But we realized that we want to show more of us. And um, something, and just to be honest with transparent, sometimes when you consistently do things, sometimes they can get a little boring when you consistently do them. So we want to switch it on us, let y'all see our lives a little bit more. Um, just us and no kids. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Show you how much she be, she be bothering me. She'll say the other way around. I don't believe that, y'all. I be having to get on the brother, but it's all good. It's all good. <clears throat> yep, that's really it. So that's it, guys. Man, we um, I didn't finish my Georgia starting. I'm good. But my I my had my burrito look like what a dog done got to it. Look at that. I'm had enough. I'm had enough. This was good. This was good. We have to do another one. For sure. A different one. Oh, and it's so, so refreshing to content. switch it up. Yeah. To do do something different. It's so much so refreshing. Mm-hmm. Do stuff a little different. It we is. were also think about y'all. Tell us if y'all want to see us do one. We were thinking about a mukbang reaction. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah. Have food all on this the keyboard and stuff be stopping. Oh no. No. -uh. Not on the keyboard. I think that'd be dope. That might be nothing. That might we might have to do them do one of them like maybe once a week or something. Well, not once a week. No. Mm mm. Trying to get tight, not expand. Trying to go in. <laughs> All 
All right, y'all, man. Go on, lead them on out, baby. Y'all. Oh, I got a burp. Oh, excuse me. So, appreciate y'all for hanging out with us. Come back. We're going to do another one. Not quite sure when, but appreciate all y'all's questions. Give us some feedback. Let us know if there's some things you want us to try a little different. We're open to that, but be looking forward to the new, um, some more stuff from our videos. Family channel, I mean. Yeah, I'm going to tell you, come up. That's Seabone Snapper Family. The family channel has always been in the link in the description. So if you want to go over there, we got, we got something over there. And we're building that one up. And we're going to start rebuilding that one. All right. Ain't that right? Yep. All right, man. I'll see how out smell. Bye. Yeah. Mm.